smoke and 54 shining probably. Some good names to watch out for here. Watch out for the two Kringle boys, but Grant Thompson, Chris Moore, Craig Dolly will still be there, but the world will be really good to have it out.
the ass. He's an the ass. He's an the ass. section already opening a gap
And it leads from Thorpe number seven. Yeah, it's obvious how uh, typical it is. You've got to be brave and bold to go back on the objective where you lose all the ground and you hit the soft ground. Left and right, now left again. Off the right, on the right, cross over the side. Chasing into the last, uh, the last corner of the seaward end. Heading up to Derby Castle, over the front which is worn down, but I think uh, they thought found a bigger piece there. He's gone a wall that time and he's lost a lot of ground. God, I think he's there. Will he, uh, will he gain out of an ear? Who's the pressure of the two as we go into what looks like to be the last lap? Oh, and it's still on the bit there. Double to the right hand there. Here we come to the line. Here's Janet Hazard by just a couple of lengths from number seven. And then Alex McKinnon on the hold of the floor. So they're now going to last lap now. I wonder whether I'm going to be a little bit crazy. A few wins and a hard top race on this last race. Oldfield past one of the Kelly boys, back markers, and over the bump. This is where Thorpe uh, lost a little bit of time before he hit it. Uh, the spun or he drifts, he drifted wide. Here comes Ennis now. Thorpe is following and they're on the, the, the promenade stretch on this last lap. I don't think Thorpe is going to get him. He is gaining a lot of these twisty, dirty bits. Unless something happens to Evan, I think it's his too. Here he goes to the flag. Number three has a change again over the top. Six and here with a bike to skin in the side break. Away! And a little bit Keenan! Oh, it's up. It's up round round and fourth place. Keenan's in second place. Over the shore. Keenan's in the spot. Oh, Keenan lost it there, but he's still on it. Good luck, Jack. First into the, the far corner. That looks like Brown in third place. There was a boy there in second. Well, a bit of exciting stuff at the end of the sea which straight, but we've got a great note now. The end of the lap, leading away from 94, that's Liam Smith, who's just been overtaken by Bo Brown, number 323, Bobby Meyer, number 23, and it's Jack Keeler's got the opportunity to put a mark on this one. Two laps to go, yet, though. Got the lead he needed. Can he hang on to it? So far, so good. First of the bumps. Wow, he's into it. They're wearing down the bump, so it must be getting easier. Oh, Brown. Jack Keenan leads the way. He's got to prevent this time from this section. A long way to go, but it was good for him. Turn into another lap. Number 80 leads away from number 323, Bo Brown. Jack Keenan's through. Hard to the right towards Derby Castle. Bo Brown has dropped back. He'll not do it this time. He's put hard back to Keenan. So I did say, Jack Keenan with two second places. About to watch. In this third race. But he's got to get to the finish line now. Not far to go. This could be his first win of the afternoon, but what a well deserved, what a well ridden one. Well done, Jack Kidd, followed by number 323, Paul Brown, who's one of the great riders in second place. What a wonderful show for us, the spectators. So well done to them. Bingo has it, and that's Thompson on the inside going into second place.
Mike Crinkle has it at the moment. It's a turn at the end of the Seawood Street. Over the first dump of the uh, lap. Onto the forward arm check. It opened up the gap already. That's not good in second place. Here he comes, number 21, Ryan Kringle from number 5, Grant Thompson at his, Jamie Kringle in 3rd, and then Greg, Craig Norrie in 4th. The number 9, that's the kick ball goes through, the blue shot to take the corner, rides over the first bump at the far end, heading up towards Derby Castle in the promenade section. <laughs> Thank you. 